Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium Live Project uh, Day 2. So, uh, first thing uh, I want to uh, let you know that I observed uh, many people are inactive in this group. So, I just sent one email yesterday. So, I'll keep only those people here who are responded to my email or they have uh, updated this contact seat. So this is very important and critical because uh, many people are uh, saying they are not getting any response from team members. So please actively involve in this team activities and uh, project. Uh, then you will be here. Otherwise I am going to uh, delete those persons from this uh, team seat after this session. So please be sure to update this contact sheet and uh, if you have not replied to my mail, uh, just reply that to confirm. Okay guys, uh, can you hear me? This is Shankar. Just quick confirm on the audio please. Shankar, we can hear you. Okay, okay, thank you. So, uh, in the chat some of you are saying which email. So, Manoj has sent an email a couple of, uh, I think in an hour back, asking to reply. Because most of the teams uh, most of the teammates are saying they are, uh, the others are not active and also uh, if you have made the mind and you wanted to be active into this project just reply on that you know I'm there uh, and then we'll consider you because at the end of the project uh, we said you can give the reference and you can put this project in your resume and all that but for doing that you should have definitely put the efforts into the project it's not just the part of uh, the the financial part you have paid it and then you're part of the team that will not help you as as Karthik has been always said in the orientation right so you should take actively participation in this do some contributions uh, automate some some portions of it that is allocated for you then only you will be uh, getting the credit of this in your resume so again if you have not received an email also just uh, send an email uh, to Karthik and Manoj Manoj at itelan.com Shankar at, sorry not Karthik uh, it's me Shankar at itelan.com so uh, we will add you to the list uh, this is my first class I'm not able to see my name in the list so Rajeshwari uh, will make a note of that uh, Manoj uh, can you please note down that so we'll, we'll add it we'll, we'll get the confirmation from the uh, uh, team and then we'll add it to you Okay, so those are all the uh, logistics part and uh, uh, please take it offline. But we would like to hear from the teams after the orientation uh, if you guys have started up this, uh, what kind of progress that you have made so far, uh, any of the teams that you wanted to. Okay, Basanta says, uh, let me see her previous message. Hope you are able to see my message uh, previously. Can you repeat it, Vasanta? Probably I'm just looking at the previous things. I could not find it. Maybe I joined a little late, so but it should be there. Can you repeat what what's the question that you have, Vasanta? Please add my name to the list. So, okay, if it is not there, uh, Vasanta, I think let me check with the uh, uh, sales team and uh, I'll add your name. No problem there. So whoever has not been there also just send an email to us, Manoj and uh, myself. We'll get it uh, checked with the sales team and then we'll add to add to the one of the groups. Team, I think as Sankar mentioned, I think we can start and uh, whoever wants to present, just nominate yourself on behalf of your team. 
and from there we can start not to the kartik at it elon send it to manoj at it elon or shankar at it elon okay okay only one thing i can say is whoever's name is not there please send an email please send an email today post the session and it should be added uh, in couple of hours is it fine okay so teams who have been formed and made some progress if you guys met up daily in your uh, status check or stand ups and you wanted to go ahead and present uh, please nominate yourself divya from tech pirates want to present okay let me add to that it's uh, shankar s h a n k e r uh, at itland.com not a r s h a n k e r at itland.com yeah so i'm uh, making divya as a presenter so just give me one sec please go ahead divya hello yes divya we can hear you hello divya we can hear you yeah we can hear you go ahead Hello. Please go ahead, Divya. Yeah, thank you. Um, hi, this is Divya. I'm representing Tech Pirates team, and this is our test plan document. And um, as we are doing this test plan for Howlay dot in. Uh, this is for the test plan document for Howley dot in, and the version is 1.0. And this is the revision history and approval log. Uh, as this is the first document, the version is 1.0, and the date. And the order is the tech pirate, as we all team contributed to um, develop this document. And the review is going on. And these are the table of contents, very short. And the contents are objective, scope, test strategy, tool, uh, environment requirements, test schedule, functions to be tested, resources and responsibilities and test deliverables. And as coming to the scope objective, uh, the objective of this test plan is to test the functionalities of Howlet how in application. And coming to the scope, uh, the, uh, as our team has um, uh, find out the these of the functionalities of the application like registration, login, searching, profile settings, uploading a video, playing a video, sharing a video, and uh, sorry, it's repeated two times. Uh, share video on social media, uh, like, comment on a video, home page, and testing all the categories, pages. And as part of the test strategy, we are going to perform uh, functional testing and regression testing. Uh, so first level, we are going to perform functional testing to test the functionalities of all the modules. And as a second level, we are going to perform regression. Uh, usually the regression test uh, will be done after any bug fix is done. If at all we have any bug fixes and we, we want to uh, test the new functionality uh, with the existing one, then we have to perform regression testing. And as part of testing tools, uh, we, have, we have used Excel for writing test scenario document and test cases and Word for writing the test plan. And we are going to use Selenium IDE to write the test scripts in phase one and web driver uh, API, JUnit, POI and Eclipse, all these are used to write the test scripts for data driven framework, 
keyword driven framework and hybrid framework as part of phase two and three. And Jira is going to be used as the bug tracking tool. And coming to the environment requirements, we are going to test uh, uh, this uh, test scripts on Windows and Mac OS environment and on the on and also doing the cross browser testing. And coming to the test schedule, uh, as we all know, the schedule, a high level test plan and test scenario document ought to be shown today, so that's why it's today's date. And phase one, we have we are going to do simple web driver scripts. Uh, so it will be on the phase one and phase two data driven framework on this date we, have, we need to show. And phase three, keyword and hybrid framework. and functions to be tested. Uh, uh, these are the functions that our, our team has found out uh, to be tested. Uh, and we have found out the, like in the registration module, the visitor must be able to use the registration link to register uh, himself. And uh, after registration, the visitor must be able to register with his username and password. And once he logged in, the member should be able to reset his password. Uh, we get these uh, scenarios into login module. And as part of profile settings, uh, the logged in member uh, should be able to edit uh, the name settings, contact info, and password settings. And uh, coming to search, the visitor or logged in member. Anybody can, uh, you must be able to see the search icon and can type the text and in the search area and can see the search results. Must be able to see. And coming to the upload video, um, the logged in members can upload the videos and can publish and review. And while doing the publish or review, they have to perform, uh, they have to give details to these following sections. And uh, after the post is published, we uh, the login member must be able to see this message, post published view post message, and he must be able to click on the view post link uh, so that uh, he can see uh, the posted video. And coming to the home page, uh, visitor or login member, anybody can visit the home page and he must be able to see the new videos most uh, viewed videos and most liked videos and he can be able to see recent tags, comment sections and he must be able to see header section, footer section and must be able to click on all the links in that home page and whereas coming to the categories, uh, all the categories will be functionalities are given here and then coming to the Resources and responsibilities, uh, the resources in our team are like this. Uh, project manager is like Karthik, uh, lead is like Manoj, and uh, testers are like team pirate team members, uh, tech pirates team members. And the responsibilities are for uh, each, uh, each role, the responsibilities are these. And coming to test deliverables, as uh, the following documents and reports uh, will be delivered during this testing process, like test case document, test plan, test strategy, testing strategies, test scripts, data, and uh, test results of reports, test summary reports, defect reports. Uh, this is our uh, plan test plan document. So did you uh, plan to prepare any detailed automation plan in which because you, yeah. have, you have mentioned the timelines mm -hmm. that phase mm -hmm. one you wanted to complete phase two and phase three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the, that's the mm -hmm. overall plan but I'm, I'm, what I'm feeling is like unless you have a detailed uh, individual task who, who is going to automate what in the IDE web driver and the mm -hmm. framework level, uh, mm -hmm. it will be very difficult for you guys to track it. So, uh, you're planning to prepare any detailed automation plan as an 
next? Like, what are the next steps that you're planning to take? Uh, we have created this one. Uh, okay. The what, what are the next scenarios? Okay. Document. This is the overall automation test plan. I need mm -hmm. to update this part uh, okay. for the phase one, phase two, and phase three. Mm -hmm. uh, till now, what we have done is these steps, and coming to the test scenarios uh, sheet, uh, we have uh, I have put the project name, reference document. Um, Usually on the reference document, the functional requirement document will be specified, but here we don't have. This type of this name, that's it. Fine, fine. Uh, and uh, these are the uh, modules that we find out in the test plan, and these are the test cases, uh, and these are the test description for each test case, and we also do provided these modules to each of the each of our team members and mm -hmm. they have also uh, provided the uh, test steps for their test cases for their allotted uh, test uh, module okay, okay. Yeah. and and whoever have done this they can they are giving their names under order okay so what you guys can just do it in your daily stand-up sees uh, when you divided these yeah. tasks uh, just ask mm -hmm. the team that when they can complete uh, the assigned task okay. to them put again as mm -hmm. the date so that you can closely track it in your daily stand-ups uh, hey you know what you need to complete this by coming Friday so, so how are you placed are you able to complete mm -hmm. or it's kind of a load balancing among your team if somebody yeah. is not able to do it or mm -hmm. uh, if he's on time if somebody is completed early probably you might mm -hmm. you or any of your team member wants to might take up some other task that that mm -hmm. is pending from other teams like that so if you have an assigned dates it will help mm -hmm. okay. so because this is one of the critical thing in real time it's not just completing your tasks uh, investing mm -hmm. in others if investing in okay. other success is also one of the major criteria that teams follow, companies follow nowadays to measure. So if somebody completed early, so don't just uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. think that okay I've yeah. done my job yeah. and I'm I'm free. Yeah. yeah, see if you can take up somebody's task or you can help them uh, if required. So those kind of culture okay. you need to try to build in. Okay. Sure, sure. Fine. Who are we the? We will take your suggestion. And sure. this is the contact <clears throat> info, uh, or these are our team members. Fine, that's for your internal uh, to the and team. Uh, this is the minutes of the meetings that we have done so far. And okay. the module allocation. These are the things that we have divided among other groups. Sure. Yeah. This is about test plan and this is about test based sheet. Okay, what is the next thing that you are planning to do now, the next week? Uh, the we next need week? to write the test scripts in Selenium IDE for these okay. test cases. Okay, fine. And so next, yeah. Still, this document is um, in process, not fully done. Uh -huh. Completing that first is your primary thing. Yeah, completing this and developing the test scripts in the Selenium. Okay, cool. Uh, so next, time I want. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Manish. Yeah, so the way I think before uh, yeah. progress at um, uh, creating scripts and all, I think we can just mm -hmm. create this automation plan. Means it's a high level, but I think it will give a good idea means who is reviewing what. So just create this, uh, complete this automation plan. So that oh, be this one? Yeah, this one. Okay, sure. Sure, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, who is going next? Uh, Rahat is there. Haima, she says uh, she wants to go ahead and then followed by Akil. So I'm making Haima as a presenter now. Just okay. give me one minute. Okay, Haima, you're on. Go ahead, Haima. Still, I am hearing you. 
I think Haima didn't get the whole census. Uh, Haima, what you're saying? You didn't get the Google Drive hmm. access. What you're saying? Oh, no, this is big. Yeah, with the previous presenter Sorry. from Tech Five. Still, I'm oh, able okay. to speak. Yeah. I made her. Just give me one minute. Hima, I think we are not able to hear you. So just check from your end. Shankar, I think uh, Hima is facing some issue with her in. So we can go with uh, some other. Uh, I think. Akil, Akil, yeah, Akil, we can. Akil, yeah. Let, I'll do that. Akil, you're the presenter now. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, great. Hi everyone, good evening. I am representing the Tech Giants team today. And uh, what you are seeing on my screen is the test plan. Okay, the first tab we have the version control where we are maintaining what exactly we are updating on the plan. And the test plan border is up here. So, in the first part it briefly describes about what exactly the project is and uh, following by external stakeholders and then our internal team members and their responsibilities. So the test lead main responsibility is to assign tasks and then we have a coordinator who coordinate and update plans and follow up with other team members on a regular basis and follow up actions if anything is assigned to them and deliverables. These are the deliverables that we are planning to submit at the end of our project. And next comes the tricky part, the objectives. Okay, these are the objectives that we have defined internally. Uh, please bear in mind this is still a draft version. We haven't, like, it's not fully reviewed and not been approved among us. Um, so the first objective, so what we have decided is on-time delivery, so we're planning to deliver it on time, if not on time, at least plus or minus 5% and, and uh, test scope. So we haven't defined what exactly the priorities are, but we have very good understanding within our team members. Uh, priority one are the critical test cases, like if they are failed, we can't proceed further. Priority two are very important test cases, even if they fail, that's fine, we can still live with them. Priority three are very trivial things, which doesn't really matter. And requirement traceability, uh, this is again a tricky part. Since we don't have a requirement documentation, we can't map like, okay, these test cases means like we have tested the 100% of the functionality, but we are trying to achieve that as a, by coming up with our own requirement documentation at this very high level. And the other question we want to ask the IT one team is like, okay, do you guys can act as a voice of customer? What exactly? Uh, the customer is expecting. So maybe he can answer that question after I present. And the last one is no unpleasant customer surprises, meaning, okay, number of critical defects open by the time we make this release, okay. And I, uh, one more question for the team is like, okay, is the development process parallel? Like, if there are any bugs identified, are the developers going to fix those bugs? If not, there's not a valid one. And milestones, requirement analysis, since there is no requirement documentation, we can just skip that one. And test plan creation, we are in the process and we hope to finalize. Actually, we had a meeting today, but uh, it's not 100% done, so we have to update this plan. So we are planning to publish the final test plan by tomorrow. Test case creation, so uh, we're hoping to finish it by 6 April, I'll show that bit uh, later, so what exactly we'll be doing. And automation framework by 18 April, execution by 21st, and we're planning to publish the default results by 22nd April. 
Okay, next coming to the test scope. So what we are planning to do is the system testing on only the functional testing part of it, but not the performance uh, side of it. And the regression testing, again this one, only if the developers are fixing the bugs, then only this is in scope, otherwise the regression and retesting is out of scope. Resources we'll be using Selenium, Jet, and all this stuff, environment. Okay, since we are working on a different various machines, uh, we plan not to capture each and everything. Uh, but on software, the majority of us will be using Windows 7, 8, and I think a couple of us will be using Max. And uh, the features, these are the features that we would be testing. The features, these are the features that won't be tested. And entry criteria, okay. We'll start the testing once we have an approved plan and the application is stable. And we have all the approved test suite. Reviewed and approved. Exit criteria, all the objectives are defined up in the section four are achieved and approved. If there is any deviation, again, it has to be approved. So I guess the approvers would be from the IT and team. And these are the test scenarios. Okay, cool. These are opening up. Okay, again, this one is uh, not a comprehensive list, but we have done almost 90% of it. We, uh, we are again meeting tomorrow. And uh, each one of us are individually reviewing this and adding up test scenarios. We'll again review tomorrow and see if we have like a full list of uh, test scenarios and then we'll work on from there. So we have identified who has to who has to do what and these will be done as defined in the milestone plan in the test plan by so like okay these scenarios will be done by 4th April sorry I think 6th April and so on as defined in the milestones plan. Okay this is the list and these are the test cases, so we just started working on these test cases, so this will be ready again as defined in the milestone plan. And then we have a risk plan. Uh, the first risk uh, we see is, okay, since there is no availability of requirement documentation and uh, most of us, not most of us, all, all of us have not worked on this application before, so there is a risk that we might not have a complete understanding and we might not capture all the test cases required to execute them. Okay, and to mitigate that, what we're planning to do is like do some kind of exploratory testing and try to identify requirement documentation. That's what we're thinking, but we haven't finalized on that yet. And the other option would be ask uh, IT Learn team like if they would act as a customer voice and tell us exactly what's the purpose of that application. And the second one is application may be done. Uh, so there's nothing much we can do about it. So what we plan, we'll accept the risk and when it occurs, we'll update our plans if there is any loss of uh, effort. Okay, resources may leave the project. That's one risk. So actually, we should plan for some of six resources. We are hoping all the six resources will stay, but for some reason, if somebody leaves, uh, we are trying our best, like to motivate them within the team and uh, see if it stays. By chance, if they leave, the other chance we are seeing we might reduce the scope. So if it is going to affect the time frame, other major risk we are seeing is okay. Database is not available, so we may not be able to. Uh, test some functionalities like, okay, for example, if we create mm, a new profile for a user and it says, okay, uh, please check your email, but we can't go and check on the emails, only the best place would be to check the database if the password is really generated. Other scenario would be like uh, search. So if we are searching for a keyword, um, it might display 50 results, but actually it should display 100 results. They exactly we can validate that data only from the database. So uh, we're seeing that as a risk. So the mitigation is like, okay, we'll check if we could get the uh, database read only access. Uh, that's a very high level plan. Mm. So any comments, feedback, welcome. Cool. So 
Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll definitely try to answer some of your questions that, that you raised it for the ideal. And before that, uh, some of the team members in the chat saying, like SAT is saying, this is my first class, what about all these, when did they do it? So it, it's for everyone who kind of joined late or who are still joining. Uh, so what you need to do is uh, Manoj will put you onto one of the team members or one of the teams uh, uh, as that part of your member. And then you should approach to the team, send an email to those folks and uh, uh, start introducing yourself. And then, so what we have done is, after done that uh, logistics part of assigning the teams and everything, Manoj has given these templates, uh, basically which are pretty much required for any automation project to be happened, like the test plan followed by the uh, automation test plan, followed by the actual script writing and all that. So uh, the teams are in the early stages of it, like writing the test plan. So what you can do is uh, you will also get access to all that templates as soon as you be added to the project and the Google Drive. But uh, you can request them that, you know, hey, I joined late in the team uh, to your team members. And probably you can ask one of the teams to kind of explain what is the progress happened so far in a day or two. And then uh, what is the next thing that, that you will be assigned to you. And then you can start working on that. So just talking to the team, introducing yourself uh, as soon as you've been allocated to the team uh, will clarify most of the stuff. But otherwise, don't get panic. Uh, these are all some of the early deliverables that are required for any automation project to do it. Yeah, I think you got it. Thank you. So now uh, coming to Akhil, uh, the status on this, uh, you, you asked a couple of questions uh, on that. Uh, definitely, yes, the IT Elon team like me and Manoj will act like uh, customers for all your deliverables. So uh, we will be consistently giving you the feedback that is required uh, and then yeah, you can consider as the uh, external customers. The second thing that you said is uh, one of the risks that you have highlighted is not clear functionality of the Holly.in. I think in the first orientation session, uh, Karthik is kind of explained about the Holly.in, but otherwise, so we said this is something related to uh, pretty much close to the domain of social uh, uh, networking wherein People, you know, you may want to share different videos with uh, friends, relatives, etc. Uh, you may be just keep on sending individual links on your WhatsApp or other kind of options, uh, but they may not have time to go through all that uh, at, at individual level. So this is a site where uh, whoever is a registered member uh, can upload the videos, uh, and then you know you can share this link as a single link for uh, friends and relatives so whenever they have time they can go through uh, they can watch some of these funniest uh, QD videos uh, from different categories uh, the next level of it uh, will be expected to take it on to the uh, WhatsApp uh, link and all that integrating with other social networking sites which is still in work in progress but otherwise uh, it, this is a pretty much functionality of, of this and uh, you're saying uh, another risk is like uh, having how many videos and uh, it's a kind of database that you talked about it if That's yeah i agree with you on the database part but i don't know how many of you see uh, this is the first thing that you guys all should do is spend about one or two hours exploring it completely within your team about this application if you have done that i'm sure some of you might have noticed there is a administrative module to this also people who have registered uh, you can even uh, go to the administrative uh, module and you can see what kind of videos are available under each category you can upload the videos and things like that I don't know how many of you have explored to that level of it uh, so that screen will help you to find out how many videos are there for, for particular category and if you are searching with some name let's say uh, if you're talking about search functionality and you enter some keyword whether it is listed out the um, the actual number of uh, uh, videos or not, you can get compared with the administrative module to the actual uh, holiday.in website where it is showing the, uh, the videos searched on the category. So there is a way you can validate, if not directly. On. So because in these kind of applications, what happens is that uh, database will be there only for the user registrations uh, based on your authorizations, like which level you are in and all. But videos are pretty much maintained on the on the disk itself, uh, not really in the database. So you have a way to validate it. So does it answer uh, questions, Akhil, from your team? 
Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure, Shankar. But okay. Uh, the thing is, our main question for the database first is, uh, okay, mm -hmm. for user profile and all that. So for example, if you create a new user profile, it says, okay, please check your email. Okay. We okay. don't know if the password is really sent to the email until we create an email with that name and go to the email and check it out there. Okay, as you rightly said, okay. we have explored the functionality a bit, but mm -hmm. haven't really gone through it. But what our plan is like, yes, to do that and try to prepare a very high level requirement uh, documentation if possible. Yeah. yeah. Just spend about an hour as a team together, start digging out each of the different modules, one search and one uploading one registration, then you will be able to figure it out all the functionality. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, okay. and the other, so, question, other question we have is, like, okay, do we have the development process parallel? Like, uh, ah, so, uh, yeah, I, even I wanted to answer that question as well. So, yes, so if uh, we have a couple of uh, other projects going on, but at this moment I can definitely tell you this, how they dot is in uh, active, uh, if not with many people, uh, we have about two developers who are working on it, Surya and somebody else. So uh, we have it. So what I would suggest is like post the uh, uh, bugs that whatever you identify, uh, uh, send it to us in the Google Drive. Probably we may pick up those critical ones that are completely blocking anybody. Uh, see, uh, the same team, the development team is actually working on many other projects. Uh, it's, uh, so we will pick up based on the preference of it. If some defects are completely blocking, right? Definitely, we would like to take them first, and then uh, the team will fix it. And if they are fixed, we'll definitely notify you guys who are actually working on it, so that you can take it for your regression. Uh, so that's how it is going on. So, but there is an active development uh, which is happening on Holly Dot, and if not, many other projects. Yeah. Okay, great. Center. That's where you can actually see dynamically uh, the videos also get changed on your day to day. Uh, somebody is uploading on different uh, categories for uh, not just validating as part of the development activity also. Okay, great. Yeah. And one last question is, okay, all these objectives making sense. Uh, okay, because uh, you said you would be acting as a customer voice. So, mm -hmm. on time delivery, what is your like first goal uh, when you say, okay, is that on-time delivery or is that uh, a product with a defect free so that we can prioritize on what is the, the objective? So the objective when we set it for the customer, um, yeah, I mean you can, we will always try to stick onto the timelines but uh, there could be some scope variance and the delivery variance which you said plus or minus 5% should be okay. Okay. A scope completion. So we say, yeah, I mean, the blockers, when we say priority one, they are the blockers, yeah. right, which mm -hmm. we want to do 100% testing. Fine. No, not the blockers, the critical test cases where we believe, okay, if these fails, mm -hmm. uh, the testing, uh, so the functionality I, will be broken. Can you yeah. scroll down a bit? I would like to see the dates uh, because, fine, so, mm -hmm. yeah, here. Is it matching with the uh, the timelines that we have created in the webinar for the last session, or is it going overhead or before? Uh, no, it is indeed matching. That's what my actually okay. to be honest, right. I haven't seen that, but my team said twenty third is the last date, and we discussed okay. among ourselves and uh, we updated this. So. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. And uh, okay, just because it's ending on twenty second, you wanted to arrive at twenty second, or uh, my question is like you have a team of some members and mm -hmm. when you allocate the task to those individuals also it is summing up to this date or, yes, or it is it is. Uh, what we are planning to do is like okay for example let's pick up this test case creation so we have allocated uh, some scenarios for each of our testers mm -hmm. so they pick those scenarios and they develop the test cases and the test cases will be ready by 6th so we review all the test cases and we start actually working on the development process from 7th. So again, okay. based on the scenarios, everybody will develop their own modules and their own classes. Mm. So we're planning to do it by 18th. But there will be a regular meeting among us. We have a coordinator who coordinates among the team members, identify okay. actions. And so the process. reason that I'm asking whether it is matching with the
each individual's task completion and the sum upping it to that date is that you have uh, if you scroll up uh, again I'm sorry for that so you wanted to complete 100% of it honestly uh, if you if you have kept 100% then it should match with your teams to this date but otherwise for other teams what I would suggest is like uh, okay we have a timeline till 20 second mm -hmm. uh, so this is what typically happens in the day to day agile in, uh, as part of the industry right so time is fixed uh, right. kind of resources are fixed but what you can scope deliver is. what you yeah, scope can vary so right. if, if uh, with the team that you have let's say only six people or seven people you may not complete hundred percent that's fine but what is the percentage that you can complete you have to commit like right. if you're saying hundred percent with this team on this date that means you're able to meet all the requirements you're able to deliver all the automation scripts and everything in the timelines uh, uh, but you should definitely validate with your team individually and it is summing up then it's fine but otherwise you can give a, a true promise saying that you know we can complete only 80 percent or we can complete only 90 percent of it so you should have that plan in the beginning so uh, does it sounds good yeah okay questions? anyway we, we're having a meeting tomorrow so we'll finalize on that okay. so on the, do, do you guys approve this plan as well how does this work here so. definitely so uh, what that's that's what uh, me and Manoj will be checking it out is in the Google Drive so um, put it uh, if you have already uploaded that's fine it's I think you're already referring from there right so that's yes, fine um, and we will look at that uh, and now yes so but uh, do you need to complete anything in this or are still oh, pending yeah. or yes it's still pending like we're planning to complete by end of tomorrow just drop an email after this completion to me and Manoj uh, okay. and then wait for a, a day max don't wait beyond that Right. And then consider it as an approval if uh, if you get a reply within that day. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So who wants to go next? So some of the teams they said they have already explored the admin module. Like am I saying she's explored? So that's good. I think Hima is there. So Hima, can you uh, can you go ahead? I think we'll make it. Okay. Is she already a presenter or do we need to make it? No, she's not, I think. So let me make her. Uh, just one minute. Ima, I made you presenter, so if you want to start, you can just. Hi. Yeah, we can hear you. Go My ahead. name is Ima and I'm from Team Innovation. Can, you, can everyone hear me? We can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, so um, there are four of us in our team. On the very first day, it was just me and um, Ayesha who were here. So we started uh, preparing the test plan and test scenarios. Um, so this is the test plan and. Um, we have uh, put the version number and the approval list as Kartik and Manoj. You both and um, I did not add Shankar, but uh, you guys. And the version of the document to refer is V1 because this is the first time we have uh, made um, we have created this document. Um, we have several bullet points here. I want to scroll down to the um, main section because of lack of time. Um, we have. Um, Written the purpose of this uh, test plan. Um, the automation plan will be um, um, mainly focuses on uh, this test strategy. How we're going to be testing. What are our objectives? What is the start date and end date? What is the entry exit criteria? And the execution strategy and the test management. How are we going to manage the risks? How are we going to manage the communications? Everything. Um, the project overview is Howlay.in is an entertainment website where users can watch and share videos with others. Users can visit as a guest um, and also log in as a member. There are many ways users can also share their videos on several social media. Um, the audience of this uh, project uh, are the team members of uh, Team Innovation and um, the uh, stakeholders are the independent uh, lead which is Karthik Manoj and uh, Shankar. The technical team um, will be the one who are, uh, are making sure that um, we are uh, we are delivering everything that we have um, we have been uh, given 
uh, with respect to design, testing, and uh, defect analysis, and um, all the uh, related uh, test uh, strategy that we are uh, planning. So um, in our test strategy, we have um, uh, basically identified that we're going to automate the regression testing part of the application, the functional testing to, fun to test the key functional areas. So, um, we are going to create data-driven, uh, keyword-driven, and hybrid-driven frameworks um, as part of our project. Um, and um, our objective is to verify the functionality. And uh, we're going to um, we're going to create test scripts for both the functional and regression test execution. And um, we have um, we have also uh, had some assumptions saying that um, the, the defects uh, and um, everything will be uh, tracked. And um, the uh, we we are thinking either we're going to use either Jira or Godzilla. If not, we're going to use an Excel for tracking our defects. And um, our testing will be primarily focusing um, uh, on the um, major uh, functional areas, regression areas, and the um, the automation part. Um, and um, we also uh, have um, entry exit criteria, saying that um, we are going to make sure that 100% of the automated scripts that we have created will be executed. And um, no critical defects, no high major severity defects, and um, and uh, other um, general test uh, uh, deliverables. So um, we, this uh, this is the same uh, generic um, test um, strategy that in general what we all write. Um, and we've also written some test scenarios where uh, we're going to verify registration and we have functional um, uh, test scenarios that we have written for registration login, searching by a keyword. Um, if you click on the images, what's going to happen? If you click on home, where do we go? If you click on the uh, social media icons, what's going to happen? If you click on any of the videos, what is it that we're going to be seeing? So we have several test scenarios that we have come up with. Um, and uh, some of the uh, key areas like how we should be seeing chronical, chronological order of videos, starting with the most recent to the older, and uh, any comments that we're going to put in and the, uh, that users are going to put in, we're going to verify those. And that, that's also going to be our functional area. And uh, if then we slide over on the thumbnails, we should uh, our test scenarios should cover that the videos either scroll from left to right or right to left based on top or bottom. Um, so uh, those are certain key areas, and uh, we have um, other functional areas like new videos, most views, most like. So our automation should cover all these, and um, certain regression areas where um, we have the categories, which is also on the side of the application, and uh, they should function as though it would function when you click on the home. So that would be our regression. So the automation is going to make sure that we're going to have um, these. Um, um, links uh, working the way it should be. So we cover, we put these as regression, and search by keyword um, is also one thing that is also in the middle of the screen. So it should work just like the search button at the top of the screen. So um, the bottom slide of thumbnails also should be in the same way. So there are some key regression areas. Um, the login itself has some negative scenarios, positive scenarios. The registration also has some negative scenarios, positive scenarios. So um, these are all the um, key areas we identify. Now um, our, we have a, we definitely have a risk uh, associated with our testing because um, we are four people and uh, we do not have active participation, and um, we are concerned that uh, we will not be able to meet these days based on the situation that we are in um, due to lack of active participation from other team members. So um, and. Uh, uh, Basically, uh, the the, uh, the uh, expectation is that uh, we're going to have uh, these automated test scripts created, and we're going to follow by uh, meeting every day and uh, having like a daily scrum, and uh, we're going to reiterate on uh, where we are every day with test scripts and also the automation scripts frameworks that we created. So we're going to be um, we're going to be uh, tracking that in the daily scrum. So uh, we are meeting by Skype, and uh, we are trying our best to um, uh, get through the um, deliverables. 
of the project and uh, and we also are hoping that uh, we're going to get some help from uh, Shankar and Manoj regarding the um, uh, lack of active participation in the team. So um, this is what I wanted to present to you guys. So uh, to answer that question, right, so we already have a request from a couple of folks who are recently joined. Anyway, the Manoj is going to add to one of the groups. So Manoj, uh, I think what we can do is uh, we can add them to the team uh, uh, what Haima is presenting right now. Uh, because they are already saying their lack of resources and see how it goes so is it fine yes yeah, sure Shankar I think yeah. uh, uh, I have emailed you about our concerns also if you can kindly respond sure. to our email I would really appreciate it thank sure, you very much sure. yeah. any questions uh, Karthi, I mean any questions Manoj or Shankar so again uh, was your timelines uh, with the meeting estimates as of now how many or the resources you have is it meeting that you will be able to complete uh, 100% as you raised anyway your lack of teams but uh, how did you distribute with, with the teams that are already available? Uh, did you uh, we, have have split, we have actually split our test cases like we have said 1 to 6 one of us is going to take and from 7 to 13 another person and from 14 to 19 we have decided and then the remaining. So what we thought was we are going to split our um, test cases scenarios equally and we're going to start writing some manual test cases and then uh, we're going to follow the process as start by Kartik and we're going to uh, start writing the XPath and the uh, scripts needed uh, for simple web driver. That would be our starting point and we are planning to accomplish that in the phase one. And then going forward in phase two, we're going to start creating framework and um, go up one notch and make it more complex by uh, adding keyword driven or data driven framework and in the third one, uh, third phase, we're going to have a hybrid framework um, and we're going to play around a little bit and see how we can um, uh, um, make use of whatever topic is taught us in the class. So okay. that's our plan. So the only thing you can do over here is assign uh, another two columns. One is the resource name and the target date of completion to track it closely that will help you uh, guys to do that, the sheet which you are showing. Sure. Um, yeah. we, have, we have written yeah, some yeah, things okay. like this, but, but unfortunately, like I mentioned, because we are only four people, we mm -hmm. are not able to... No worries. So uh, today, I think, uh, yeah, uh, today, maybe in a couple of hours from now, uh, you'll get a hi from some of the new members. So please introduce them, onboard them to whatever the status is completed, and then sure. put them into the next set of things. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you. So, Rahat, uh, you want to go from Team Decoder. I will make you presenter. Get about 10 minutes and then present it whatever you have done. So, Rahat. Yeah, Rahat, please go ahead. <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, Shankar. Okay. Uh, hello, Shankar. Hello, Manoj. I am Rahat from Team Decoder. Uh, today, I am going to present our team update. Uh, so, uh, we are uh, 10 members in our Team Decoder and, and uh, we are uh, planning to present our high-level test plan uh, for Holly.in and uh, test uh, strategy and um, Test, uh, test strategy uh, for Holly.in and uh, we have 10 active member and uh, today uh, one uh, member is added uh, to our team as uh, she is Sri Devi and here is our high level test plan. Uh, we uh, worked through the application and we came up with a test plan and test strategy. We are doing our uh, test scenario and we'll come up our test cases and test uh, scenario uh, test cases test step and test data uh, so we are uh, we allocated ourselves um, for uh, this uh, we allocated our uh, uh, self at this task uh, so each member uh, uh, is taking um, two modules um, 
uh, Anjali, uh, Anjali, Yemi, Jin Singh. Uh, uh, everybody is uh, taking two modules. Uh, so, and uh, we are doing our meeting uh, uh, within uh, go to meeting uh, Skype and uh, WhatsApp. So this is our MOM sheet and. Uh, and here it, uh, which, uh, I already uh, shown my, our uh, high level test plan and this is our test plan document for howly.in and uh, here is our uh, the overview so howly.in uh, is a, a video sharing platform uh, anyone can uh, come and watch the videos and uh, share the videos and only member can um, upload the videos uh, so uh, the purpose of uh, the purpose and the scope uh, describes our main uh, objective of this project and here is our uh, workflow diagram so anybody can come uh, here and uh, members can upload the videos and there are many categories like advertisement, animals, uh, animation, automobiles, cute, funny, embarrassed. Uh, so um, a guest can come, uh, search the videos, watch, uh, watch the videos and share the videos uh, through uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp uh, and Twitter, no not Twitter, sorry, uh, Google, uh, Google Plus and a member can uh, come and log in so uh, they can uh, upload the videos here and here is our feature to be tested uh, we are planning to uh, test a uh, home page registration form login form uh, functional requirements and non-functional requirements and our roles and responsibilities uh, we are 10 members so uh, we are taking a registration login and a search uh, uh, these three modules are uh, for all uh, just these two uh, common modules for all members and uh, other modules uh, for uh, other two modules for each member and our in scope is uh, functional testing and regression testing and cross browser testing and out of scope is mobile app testing and user interface testing so our test schedule is uh, we um, participate our uh, orientation uh, that um, uh, that was uh, 26th of March and our first demo session was 30 uh, of March uh, 30th of March uh, we got our uh, AUT so we uh, start our meeting at 31st of March and uh, now we are planning to do uh, we are uh, doing everyday meeting and our uh, we came up with a test strategy and uh, test plan document uh, and uh, we'll start coding at uh, 6th of April and uh, um, the first phase will finish ninth and finish by 9th of April and we will start data driven framework and uh, uh, we will end that framework by 11th of uh, April and we st will start our phase 2 the 13th of April and uh, uh, that will end uh, 16th of April and uh, the phase 3 will start by 20 and it will finish by 23rd and we are using um, agile methodology here and our test uh, management tool uh, we are uh, keeping our all documents in Google Docs uh, so um, our test cases, test, uh, test data, test plan, everything uh, uh, we will share in a Google Drive uh, so everybody can uh, edit it and see it and uh, as a test environment uh, we are using um, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 and a browser uh, we are using uh, Firefox, Google Drive and Internet Explorer and for defect management um, for as a defect tool we, are, uh, we will use Jira and, and this is our uh, time uh, we are planning to test our actually uh, the effort estimation uh, we're trying to give um, the rough idea about uh, how many people needed uh, to complete the project uh, in our allocated time and here it is and this is our uh, exit criteria we'll try uh, to um, uh, execute our uh, test cases and uh, we'll try the test cases uh, will 100 percent passed and that's it. Oh, okay. And one more thing. 
uh, we start our uh, test scenario. So this is our uh, we divided our mod uh, divided our module. So this is our, uh, my module automobiles, and this uh, here is the plan for uh, high level plan for automobiles module. And uh, here I wrote some test scenario uh, for my module. Here you can see uh, with uh, module automobiles, uh, with crawler, with crawler to automation category, uh, registration form link uh, uh, for registration, and uh, automobiles login, login form link for uh, on automation uh, ca uh, category page. Yeah. I think that's it for my side. Okay. So, uh, yeah, cool. So, uh, Rahat and other teams, uh, what I would, would highlight some of the points is like, you know, you guys are preparing the highlighted automation test plan, which is good with the targeted milestones. But do please consider for every single deliverable that you guys are going to make, include the review time. For example, if you develop some automation script, somebody has to do a code review, code inspection also, so that they can, other team can give you, uh, you know, if there is anything that can be improved. For example, you have done some export coding and all, and if there is a better way of doing it, uh, somebody can give a comment about it, right? And you can learn mm -hmm. from that. And so please include uh, code review timelines, which is basically at a peer level. So whatever the code that you write, give it to the other person for review for your test case, and what the other person writes, you review it. So because not just completing your task, somebody, uh, somebody should take care of the quality also for that. That is one thing that I wanted to highlight. So code review, code inspections, uh, do take care of it uh, okay. and put it in your timelines. Uh, because it's not about how many cases we are completing by 22nd or 23rd of April. Even if you have done 10% of less than the other team uh, or even have done the 10% of the overall test cases, but do take care of the quality part of it. That's what uh, is a major important thing. So for every single deliverable, have a peer level review if possible team level review also within your team uh, meet up when you when you meet it in a daily or you know, alternative day or whenever do place place to, uh, sorry please post us with those review comments uh, we would like to see on how you guys are taking up code review code inspections uh, so with that uh, I think uh, we can <clears throat> hold this session for today the next status session uh, we would like to hear from the teams who have not been presented today so please, please uh, volunteer yourself in the next ones and then spend some time in giving the status back to the uh, ITLM team and, and everybody else. Uh, so with that, uh, let me see if I have any other questions. So I think uh, there's no other questions. So yeah, please do uh, take up with the same seriousness that the way you have started. Uh, the status shows definitely teams are very serious and then they're doing the uh, deliverable. So, continue with the same uh, uh, enthusiasm with the you know, kind of uh, interest then this will add a lot of value to your project as we said in the orientation also and you can talk about your responsibilities very clearly in the automations only when you can do it you can actually talk about them in a confident way so the best thing is do it and talk about in your resume so any other questions from anyone So website is already given uh, to you, like somebody is saying, are you going to send us the website and requirements? A website has been given, uh, kind of, uh, so what you should do is, uh, the SAP you should watch the orientation session done by Karthik, me and Manoj, uh, the first one that's on 26th, then you will get the complete picture, okay? So thank you team, so we'll, we'll get you meet in the next status meeting.